Hello guys, welcome to the next video on MongoDB tutorial for beginners. In the last video, I've shown you how you can download and install MongoDB on your uh, Windows operating system. And I've also given you the brief introduction of MongoDB. Now in this video, we will uh, see how we can set up the environment variable for MongoDB so we don't need to you know open this MongoDB from this bin folder inside the MongoDB every time we open the you know MongoDB from the shell and I'm also going to show you how you can uh, download and install a graphical tool so that it will be easier to visualize you know data in the MongoDB so first of all uh, we will set up the environment variable so what we need to do is just search for uh, system in your uh, Windows operating system and then in here go to advanced system settings and in here go to environment variables and in here under system variables you just need to go to the path variable and you can either push this added button or double click on this path variable now be very careful you don't uh, need to delete anything here and at the last at the very last you just need to give a semicolon here so just give a semicolon and then just copy the path of uh, this mongodb bin folder okay so in my case it's uh, c colon slash program file slash mongodb slash server slash 3.2 slash bin but it can be different for you so just copy this path where your mongo.exe and mongod.exe file is there right so copy this path and then after copying this path just paste it after this semicolon in the variable value okay so just paste this path and then click ok click ok and then once again click ok and now just open your terminal once again so right click on your uh, start button and then open your command prompt and now from uh, this place itself you can uh, you know just give mongod.exe command so for example mongod.exe and then press enter and now you can see it's waiting for the connection so we are able to uh, open this mongodemon.exe file from uh, somewhere else other than the bin folder right so this is uh, happening due to the setup of the environment variable right now let's uh, download and install a graphical tool which is called mongo chef to visualize uh, the stuff so go to your favorite browser and search for mongo chef and search for it and in here you will be able to see this website which is 3t.io slash mongo chef so you just need to click this and this is a tool which you can download for free if you uh, are not using this tool for the commercial purpose right so we uh, just want to use this tool for visualization and it's not for commercial use we just want to learn from it right so I'm going to just click free download and then it will lead you to this page in here you just need to give your email id your name and the last name and the company uh, you can uh, you know give private or something like this and from where you come to know this mongo chef and then after giving uh, every information you can click download so i'm going to quickly do this and click the download button now after giving the information and clicking the download button i can see all the downloads I'm going to click this download for windows and i'm going to save this zip file okay so save it and once this uh, zip file is downloaded just go to the location where this zip file is downloaded in my case it's here and you can just extract this uh, file so you can right click and then just click extract here and it's going to extract this MSI file from Mongo Chef. So just double click on this MSI file, which is like an installer. 
and it's going to uh, prepare for installation and you just need to click next here and just agree with the license terms and condition and click next and this will be the location where uh, this uh, IDE will be installed or this tool will be installed which is Mongo Chef just leave it as default and then click next and then click install and once this uh, Mongo Chef tool is installed on our Windows operating system we can just uh, click this checkbox which will launch this uh, tool and then we can click finish so it's going to launch uh, Mongo Chef and you can uh, see uh, it will give you this warning uh, for what purpose we want to use it we want to use it for non-commercial use and we will uh, confirm with the terms and conditions and click OK and then click OK and now this uh, tool is open now for using this uh, Mongo Chef, make sure that your mongod.exe is running in the background on your command prompt, right? So once again, for example, uh, you just need to open your command prompt here and you just need to run mongod.exe and press enter. And once this is waiting for the connection, we are ready to use this Mongo Chef. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this tool and I will go to the file and I will click connect or I will just click this button. And then in here you can see this new connection tab. So you just need to click new connection and then give the name to your connection. For example, you can give any name to your connection. For example, mongo test or something else and then you can see uh, the server name is localhost in our case and this is the default port on which mongodb will uh, work which is 27017 okay so you can just click save here and then you can uh, click connect and now it's going to show this local here and now what you need to do is you just need to click Intel I shell just click this uh, button here and it's going to open this kind of uh, shell and it's uh, same as uh, running your mongo.exe shell right so wh whenever you give some command here for example DB and then we will run this command by clicking this uh, button which says uh, execute entire script or you can uh, you know just run this execute statement at cursor right so we are going to click this button and now you can see it says local okay so this is the uh, test database which is already provided by uh, the mongodb to us okay and now you can open this command shell and i'm going to maximize it and you can see connection accepted from uh, this uh, local host and this port right so we know that our uh, mongo chef tool is working and from the next video we will uh, create some databases and we will learn more about uh, the mongodb collections and documents okay so stay tuned and please wait comment subscribe and bye for now